So despite initial appearances, this isn't actually a video about game dev. Uh, what we are looking at here is more like a wacky interface for what is essentially a time management and focus tool that I'm building with both Angular and Phaser. So Phaser is what is responsible for rendering the game world we are looking at. And I have Phaser running inside of an Angular application. And on top of that, uh, this little section in the top left is actually a Chrome extension that is also built with Angular. So a little more explanation might be required here. I promise I haven't completely lost it. Uh, it's probably easiest to explain the idea just by showing you. So essentially what I wanted to do was introduce some friction to switching between the websites I use for various tasks and projects throughout the day. I wanted to make my online world more like the real world where I can't just instantaneously switch to some other thing when my brain becomes bored for a nanosecond. I have to make a conscious choice to switch tasks and invest time in traveling there. So the idea is that there are these triggers throughout the world uh, you can see here by the ugly numbers that are popping up that both this house and uh, the letterbox are both triggers. So I can assign any trigger any set of URLs that I like. So these would be the pages I want to have open for specific tasks or projects. So if I go to one of these triggers, I can activate it by pressing E and this will launch uh, whatever URLs are associated with it. Uh, in this case, the letterbox is associated with just my emails and the house is associated with my main websites that I work on, which I spend a lot of time doing throughout the day. This uh, bench down here is associated with my weekly review tasks. So this is where I clear out any outstanding to do's organized for the following week and track how well I stuck to my intended goals. So launching these workspaces is achieved by the game world emitting an event uh, indicating which uh, trigger is currently active. So this is picked up by Angular and then Angular posts a message on the window object, which is detected by the Chrome extension. And the extension then handles opening the relevant tab or tabs. So I can go to a particular workspace. This one here is my stuff related to game dev and I can open that. And when I'm done, I can come back to the game world and you can see that it is paused. So I can't move until I leave my current session. I can either choose to just leave normally, uh, which will reset the workspace, or I can choose to leave and save, which will reopen any new tabs that I created during this session the next time I come back to this workspace. So the cool thing about this is that it removes this necessity to hoard tabs when working on a bunch of different things. So let's say that I feel like a bit of a break I can just switch back to the game world and then I can hit S, which is my keyboard shortcut uh, for leave and save. It will close down all my tabs. And now I can stroll down to this uh, little break area uh, that I've got set up to launch uh, YouTube, Blue Sky, Discord and Slack. So once I've subscribed to some cool YouTube channels, I can just leave again and head back to the work session that I just had going. Uh, in my game dev workspace without having to start from scratch since I saved all of my existing tabs last time. The main ideas here are to keep these workspaces organized and separated uh, to reduce the attachment to tabs and to force some conscious decision making when switching between tasks. So this setup makes it easy to switch from one task to another, but if I want to pull up social media, I have to very consciously make that decision. I can't just quickly pop it up in a new tab and flick back and forth between it as I work. So I want this to help encourage uh, single tasking. So I intend to add a bunch of different available triggers around so you can really customize a nice workflow, uh, placing the things that you want to use most frequently, reasonably close. Uh, but the things you want to avoid using too much uh, like Twitter perhaps, will require a relatively long walk to activate it. So this is all just a pretty rough proof of concept right now. Uh, I need to build out this world more and make it prettier. Uh, I'm still just using a default character sprite from a phaser tutorial, so I'll need to change that. Uh, I'll need to add a UI to the Chrome extension to manage and edit the workspaces. Uh, right now, my own URLs are just hard coded in. And generally I intend to just use this as my main way of working for a while and just see how well it works. So I have been using this demo version as the main way I interact with the internet for a few days now. And so far I'm really liking it. There's already been a few times where my wandering brain has been forced to make a conscious decision rather than absent-mindedly getting distracted. So there's a ton of ideas I have that I'd like to implement, 
but I'll probably just try to get what I have so far smoothed out a bit and release a demo for people to play around with. Alright, so this was a bit of a weird one, but if you did enjoy this video at all, uh, please feel free to leave a like or subscribe before you go, and I hope to see you again for the next video.